guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Mercury, and I am the Trans Handyman. And today we're going to talk about how to repair and replace your kitchen faucet spray hose when it has a leak like this. So let's get our hair up and out of the way so we don't get it dirty. And then let's go make a mess. Okay, let's go. This is specifically a mow and pull out spray hose, and it's leaking right in the middle of the hose. I'm always mindful how I drop things, so I want to make sure I cover the drain slots so any tools or loose parts don't get lost. I'm going to use an old pillow for my back and my knees as I work on the sink. Next, I'm going to turn off the shutoff valve. Usually, there are two of them. One on the right is going to be cold, typically, and the one on the left is usually hot. Don't panic if yours don't look like mine do. They may look like this one or different kinds. Just be mindful to try to turn it off and test it as you go along to make sure the water is completely off. If you're having a hard time figuring out which one is a spray hose, you can try to pull it up and down in order to indicate which one it actually is. Next, I'm going to remove the spray hose from its nearest connection. This one is a push and release, but somewhat set screws or twists and turns. Then you can remove the hose from the sink. If it takes you a little bit to figure out how to disconnect the hose, remember it's okay. It's a frustrating experience sometimes when you do this work, but if you keep trying, I know you're going to get it. Next, I'm going to remove the hose from the nozzle itself. Now remember, this is already damaged, so I'm not worried about damaging it with my adjustable pliers. Here's the new spray hose that I'm going to use. You can see inside that there is a gasket or some type of seal that helps seal it nice and tight when you install it. I had to specially order this spray hose from Moet itself to make sure it matches, but often you can get these at the hardware store itself. I'm going to do the best I can to make sure it's tight with my hand first, and then I'm going to take paper towel and the adjustable pliers to make sure I don't damage it. After I check it to make sure the connection is nice and tight, then I can feed it back into the hole down into the sink itself. This is a reminder that you were doing a wonderful job, and I know this could be frustrating at times, but I'm proud of you for sticking it out and doing the best you can. Once the hose is all the way down into the sink, we can feed it through the weight itself. Sometimes this could be clipped on, and sometimes you could just feed it right through. I'm going to adjust the hose in the sink to make sure it's not going to be bunched up or getting in the way of any other hoses. Then I'm going to click it and reconnect it the best I can. Once I'm secure enough with the connection with the spray hose, then I'm going to open up the water lines again for the shutoff valves. Then I can turn the water on and then try to give it the best go and see if the problem is solved. If there is any leaks, turn off the water immediately and do your best to try to solve the problem and see if it's just a loose connection or if something got damaged in the process. And as you can see, it was a job well done. And I'm a firm believer that a job is never truly completed until you completely clean everything up and put it back where it belongs. So make sure you do that to make sure your home feels safe to you. And remember, there's a lot of things that I may show you in these videos that may not work exactly for what you're doing with your project. But that's okay. You just make sure that you do with all the research you need to do to make yourself feel confident going into this job. And also, the things that I would do a little bit different next time around is make sure that you put down a towel before you get into your, underneath your sink. Because, um, you may make a little bit of a flood <laughs> and have instant regret when you do it. So, learn from my mistakes and make sure that you're more prepared than that when you do your job, okay? And remember, you are worth the time it takes to learn a new skill. Have a great day, take care, and bye bye